Thanks everyone for joining us this morning. We're gonna kick off our time together by looking at some business return on investment that is driven through the power of data integration. My name is Dale Lutz. I'm one of the co-founders of SAFE and have been at this for almost 28 years. And I'm joined today by Tina. Hi everyone, my name is Tina and I'm a senior product marketing manager here at SAFE Software. Thanks, Tina. By way of background, data is arguably the most critical business asset any organization has. And over the years, we've seen amazing power unleashed in organizations when they harness what the value of that data is. And this morning in our time together, we wanna to look at how you can drive your business forward by harnessing this power yourselves. Underlying our stories is the FME Enterprise Integration Platform which we are very proud to say is the only enterprise integration solution that has comprehensive support for spatial data types. There are a variety of ways this platform manifests itself. On the desktop, you run and build your workflows that control the flow of data from where it is to where it needs to be. Once you have those working, you can deploy them to FME server where they can run unattended or in response to some kind of stimulus in the environment, like a schedule, a file arriving, these types of things. If you want, you can host all this in a pay by the hour FME Cloud instance. And that's a very flexible way and easy way to get started with FME Server. And lastly, we have FME Mobile, which gives you the ability to look at augmented reality data anywhere in the world located exactly where it is. There are a variety of organizational challenges that enterprises face when they consider the data that they have and what they wanna do with it. This chart lists eight of them. Today, we're gonna to dig into four. First, we're gonna look at the variety of data, its volume, and the challenges to having it interoperate. We're also gonna look at some of the issues around getting that data to where it needs to be in a timely fashion, and the issues around quality in terms of time as well. We're gonna look at the impact that manual and inefficient processes can have on an ability of an organization to execute well and how these can be overcome through automation. And lastly, we're gonna look at how citizen and customer demands can be met more fully by harnessing the power of data integration throughout the enterprise. So with that, I'm gonna hand it off to Tina to talk to us about the first challenge. Thanks, Dale. So the first challenge we're gonna be taking a look at today is data variety, volume, and interoperability. The first is an exciting project from the Transport of London. The London Underground Metro system needed to identify which assets were at the highest risk in the event of a flood. With 270 stations across the system, you can imagine the volume of data that was needed for their analysis. In total, the team collected 5,000 data sets, including data from multiple government agencies, which meant that they were dealing with data in different formats as well as different coordinate systems. They needed a data integration solution to solve this challenge. By using FME, they reduced data processing time by 13 weeks per year, freeing the GIS team from repetitive data integration tasks and also saved 15,000 pounds in survey work. Complex data integration workflows are now fully automated and they can consistently deliver accurate and reliable information to key decision makers in their preferred system. Moving over to Poland, VisiMind was met with an incredible challenge for their client, the Polish Power Grids. They needed an efficient way to collect and process 10 terabytes of data, including point clouds, digital terrain and surface models, and orthophoto maps, and integrate all of this disparate data into a single geospatial database in order to deliver a detailed inventory of roads, buildings, power lines, and more. Using FME, VisiMind was able to automate the entire data integration and validation process, all with no code, all while maintaining high data quality and accuracy. Let's take a look at the impressive results. Quantitative data checks are now performed 60 times faster, Checking for photo completeness is 50 times faster and 32 times faster to perform data validation and quality control on orthophoto maps and digital models. Not only can their client take advantage of faster processes and implement this for future projects, they are now empowered to make the best business decisions with quality data. Back to you, Dale. Thanks, Tina. The second challenge we're gonna look at is around manual and inefficient processes. And here we have two stories I'd like to highlight. The first being North Ayrshire. 
they were looking for a better way to streamline the overall employee journey and all the HR IT operations that go on behind the scenes. This council has 8,000 staff, and so there's a lot of data in its HR system. Different departments are responsible for providing updates, and this information was dispersed across many different systems. By partnering with One Spatial, one of our key partners in the UK and Australia, they were able to leverage FME for enterprise integration that steam streamlined these processes. They reduced paperwork and they integrated Office 365, Salesforce and other business systems to get this all to happen very, very efficiently. What's interesting is that normally there's some sort of spatial aspect to FME stories. This one was a pure business play. The result of all this work, drastically reduced manual administrative tasks, drastically reduced paperwork, and overall operational efficiency, and of course, reduced costs. And all of this without writing any code at all. Our next story involves Mangrove Watch. They were looking for an efficient way to analyze the videos that were crowdsourced from citizen volunteers so they could monitor the condition of mangrove shorelines throughout the state of Florida. And what goes on behind the scenes here is that they, they get videos and then they extract the individual frames from these videos and analyze the rasters or the images on those. This automated process radically reduced their data processing time all the way down from one day to five minutes and all manual work was removed. The result of this is a drastically increased capacity to monitor more shorelines and as well to invite more participation from more citizens, resulting in overall greater output quality and a much better sense of what's actually going on. A great story. So Tina, tell us about the next one. Next, let's take a look at the value of getting timely access to reliable and high quality data. The two stories in particular highlight ways that FME contributes to our customers' goals of providing timely emergency response and safeguarding lives in their community and beyond. The city of Oshkosh needed to enable real-time mapping and eliminate manual spatial data processing to allow the child abduction response team to quickly deploy search and rescue efforts. They used FME to integrate their internal leads tracker with ArcGIS Online, which automatically generates real-time maps that sent back to the command center. Maps are refreshed and updated when new leads are submitted by the public and the map shows the last place that a child was seen within a quarter mile radius. By removing the manual process and mapping of incidents and leads, response team members gain access to real-time information that is reliable and up-to-date, enabling fast decision-making and targeted search and rescue resources. And we're happy to share that the city of Oshkosh has not had any abductions since they went live with the system, but they have been more than equipped to handle this situation in case um, it does occur in the future. Over to Blue Dot. They are a software company that helps governments, businesses, and healthcare organizations safeguard lives through their AI-powered outbreak platform. As a result of the pandemic, Blue Dot was suddenly dealing with a massive amount of data coming into their systems, in addition to the huge volumes of data that they regularly collect from hundreds of sources around the world. In order to prepare this data in their early warning system for disease outbreaks, they needed a solution to automate complex data and application integration workflows, manage peaks in processing demands, quickly scale up data processing jobs, and make data accessible to their clients on-premise and in the cloud. With FME, they solved all of these challenges and as a result, were able to issue a COVID-19 alert seven days before the WHO and are now able to monitor over 200 infectious diseases on a daily basis. Back to you, Dale. Thanks, Tina. Our fourth and final challenge we're gonna look at is meeting customer or citizen demands. And here we have a story from Geomni in the UK and in partnership with One Spatial, they developed a method to quickly analyze average pavement widths throughout Greater London, all around the goal of delivering a pavement width map that was in response to COVID-19 social distancing needs. So this was a requirement that came very quickly and resulted in a lot of work that would have had to be done manually, but instead was able to be done in automated ways by applying FME. As Tom Tim said, responding to COVID-19 was a catalyst for doing things differently. 
They had to use existing tools, but in innovative new ways and rapidly react to the challenges that were faced to them. The result, the UK map users can clearly and quickly identify the space by a color-coded map. And they were able to turn this around in a very short order. We're finishing up our tour of stories with the city of Lévis in Quebec. And I was actually fortunate enough to visit them just before the pandemic hit. So it's great to see us highlighting some of their work. They were looking at a way to optimize the data sharing and delivery process for dealing with potholes and repairing those. And if there's one thing Canadian cities have, there's lots of potholes. So FME enabled the city to keep their systems updated and synchronized and deliver the actionable insight to the crews so that they could get these things solved in a way that everybody knew about with little or no manual intervention. But let's look at the results. 80% reduction in call reports and over 23 days of work saved, which allowed all those staff to allocate that time to higher value tasks. A fantastic story. Well done, City of Lévis. So taken together, all of these stories should help you understand that our mission at SAFE is to help all of our customers maximize the value of their data. We don't want our customers to be fighting with data or being unable to leverage the value that's in it. Instead, they should spend their time using that data for getting good results and delivering value to their business. And our whole goal is to shorten the time that they spend fighting with it and maximize the time they spend actually using it and getting value. And I really think these stories today highlighted many, many ways this is done. FME is all about connecting, transforming, automating, and sharing data. It enables organizations, our customers, to get to their business decisions with no code automation through true enterprise data integration, harnessing at the same time, if needed, the power of spatial data. And so that's been very exciting for us. And we're really pleased to see all the results that our customers get. But don't just take our word for it. Tina, what has Gartner been saying? As Dale highlighted earlier, our mission is to help our customers maximize the value of their data so that organizations can achieve greater ROI, such as cost and time savings, improve operational efficiency, deliver an exceptional customer experience, and drive innovation across the organization. In the last few years, we've been working closely on our partnership with Gartner to help us better understand the broader market so that we can continue to build an industry-leading enterprise integration platform and deliver on our mission. We're very happy to share that for the second year in a row, Safe Software has been recognized by Gartner in their Magic Quadrant Report for Data Integration Tools as a top vendor in the industry. We were also recognized as a strong performer in Gartner's Peer Insights Voice of the Customer Report with an overall customer rating of 4.8 out of 5. Our customer success is our success, and we are constantly blown away by the many ways FME is used to solve business challenges, and the engagement we receive from our users and the FME community is what continues to drive us forward. We've only highlighted a small handful of stories today, and you'll hear more amazing success stories throughout the remainder of the world tour. So Dale, how can people get started? Well, Tina, there's a few ways. First of all, visit our website at www.safe.com and you can sign up there at the bottom of the page to be on our mailing list where we'll keep you up to date on all the things that we are learning and sharing with our customer base. There you'll learn of stories like the ones we told today and many, many more. The second thing you can do if you want to actually start understanding what's behind all this and harnessing the power for yourself is sign up for the FME Accelerator. That's a 90 minute online class. You don't need anything installed on your computer. We'll give you everything you need. And by the end, you will understand how these kinds of results can be achieved. And lastly, you can go ahead and download yourself a free trial of FME, www.safe.com trial. And then you can experience it for yourself. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Now you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the other exciting world tour talks that are coming your way. There's some very good ones. You aren't going to be disappointed. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.